and uh, unfortunately um, the, 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 the poor educational outcomes have led to the, the skyrocketing in, in unemployment and inequality that has plagued this country for, for decades. The Center for Risk Analysis has released our latest macro review report, this one on South Africa's education sector, a deep dive into how the education sector looks at the moment uh, in terms of the public sector, what are the trends, what is the data, where are things going, the good and the bad, the ugly, maybe the, the very good points, all of that sort of stuff is what we cover in this latest macro review. And joining me to unpack is my colleague at the CRA, Gerbrand van Heerden. Herbrand is the Deputy Head of Research at the CRI. Harry, thanks very much for your time with us uh, this week. To get into the macro review, um, maybe let's start with some of the positive signs in education, the way things are trending upwards. I know it's easy to get mired in the difficulties. We should highlight those, rightly so, in any particular sector and industry. But what can you tell us about how things are looking um, in terms of positives? Yes, well, there is a correlation between um, education levels and levels of employment. The more educated you are, the better your chances are of getting a job. So, of course, it's very um, important for a country such as South Africa with a very high unemployment rate to have um, a good education system in place and to have many people have access to the education system. And that's one of the positive uh, stories from our report, is that enrollment levels have increased substantially over the last two decades. So for example, um, levels of enrollment in grade R has increased by 240% since 2002, and um, levels of uh, enrollment at university level has increased by uh, has increased from fifteen percent to to twenty two percent. So we've seen um, greater access to education, um, and that is a success uh, story in itself. But the problem is uh, the outcomes, um, and uh, what we highlight further in the report is that the outcomes of our schools are extremely poor and that has a real knock-on effect uh, to everything else in, in, in South Africa. So drilling down a bit in terms of those outcomes falling short, it's one thing to say you're putting people through a schooling system, but then you ask the question, who actually makes it from grade one to grade 12? Um, in terms of that data, what does that tell us in terms of how the education um, system is performing? Um, well, from what we've seen, for example, um, uh, the, more than half of children, of um, pupils in grade one, uh, don't know the letters of the alphabet or, uh, at the end of grade one. Um, around 80% of pupils can't read properly, and two-thirds of pupils um, in grade one make it to matric without uh, repeating or um, dropping out. Um, and then also we, we only see about 38% of national senior certificate candidate, candidates, uh, those who are writing matric, actually passing well enough to gain university entrance. Only 22% of uh, matriculants uh, pass, uh, pass mass with more than 50%, and only 30% of matriculants um, pass uh, um, science with more than 50%. So that kind of shows that um, the early stages of our schooling system are really failing um, our pupils and our students to, to adequately prepare them for tertiary education and for the, the world of work. And uh, unfortunately, um, the, 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 the poor educational outcomes have led to the, the skyrocketing in, in unemployment and inequality that has plagued this country for, for decades. And then just in terms of technical colleges or the TVET 
colleges as they they're known now what do we see in terms of those data and that participation there because i think it's one thing to sell young south africans that you know a sort of normal quote unquote normal four year university degree might be the solution to all their problems but looking at the opportunity for technical skills and technical colleges are we seeing increased or decreased enrollment in those areas so um unfortunately um most uh, the, the most south africans believe that universities are the only way for them to to uh, gain access to um, the labor force we don't see a lot of enrollment at uh, technical vocational education and training colleges or tvets um, and i think it's because of the poor reputation of tvets uh, a paper that we produced in 2019 indicated that um, the curricula of TVETs uh, do not align with the, the needs of employers. And that kind of forces lots of companies to spend additional time and resources to retrain uh, entry-level workers um, to get skills that university universities and colleges were supposed to uh, equip them with uh, in the first place. So TVETs actually have a very poor reputation in, in South Africa, and unfortunately, uh, not much has been done from the government side to, um, to provide resources and, and um, uh, all the other requirements needed for these TVETs to, 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 to function properly. Um, there's also, um, in terms of the, the skills level of, of teachers and, and, and trainers, um, there's, a, there's a study um, from the Center of Development and Enterprise, which was released earlier this year, which showed that the proficiency levels of teachers in South Africa um, is are, are extremely low. Uh, in fact, um, the the skills level and um, competency, competency level of South African teachers are far lower than teachers in Kenya, in Zimbabwe. Also, the report found that um, South Africa has um, the the highest number of teach teachers that are absent at at school. And um, this, of course, um, negatively impacts the, the, the quality of teaching at schools. Uh, there's also a significant uh, involvement from unions um, that have really been to the detriment of um, the, the school system. Um, there have been um, reports that have shown that the uh, South African Democratic Teachers Union um, have uh, meddled with uh, promotions of teachers, with um, uh, with who can get jobs as teachers and headmasters. So all of this has had a real impact on on the quality of teaching in the country, and these are issues that have not been significantly addressed. And then, Harry, find in terms of possible policy changes or solutions, what 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 can we find? What does the macro review or the CRA more broadly propose in that regard to maybe get some of these things moving in a better direction? Yes. Yeah, so I think um, one of the the first uh, things to highlight is that uh, when parents have the means to do so, they will shift their their or the, they will take their children out of public schools to uh, independent schools or, or private schools. Um, so to, um, to to allow the the private schooling system to, to prosper and and function and relieve some of the burden from public schools, um, I think that's one of the first steps to take. Um, Merit based appointments. Um, is uh, is another important step to take, as well as significantly clamping down on corruption, um, bringing those accountable who have been uh, implicated in the jobs for for uh, for cash scandals, 
um, in the country. I think uh, clamping down on corruption and then also just significantly reduce the, the influence um, of the unions who have been nothing but an obstacle to um, the, the successful functioning of many public schools, especially in, in rural areas and, and, and in townships. So I think uh, if you uh, make these, uh, if you, you take these steps, this will significantly help to improve the edu educational outcomes of, of the country. So those of you watching, thank you very much. If you would like access to our monthly macro reviews, our bespoke projects, our bespoke briefings, our weekly risk alerts, we invite you to become a client of the CRA. You can find all of the information at the link in the description below. Until next time, this has been Chris Hutton for the Center for Risk Analysis. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.